Well, the rain is creating big problems for students at one Hamilton County school this week. And tonight, the county is stepping in to keep students from getting wet on the way to class. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now live from Central High School with the details. Hannah. Well, Kim and Calvin, if you take a look behind me, you can see the hilly property that Central High School sits on. Just past the football field, there's a building where some kids have class. But right now, it's blocked by trees, but the path that goes to that building floods with heavy rain, causing a muddy mess that parents want something done about. I picked her up from school yesterday, and she was just soaked. Her pants were muddy. Her shoes were just, I mean, she was soaked. So what happened? This is the photo Rachel Campbell's daughter took leaving her last period class yesterday at Central High School. It's legitimately like a river of flooded water, flooded muddy water coming through and there's no way around it. Her daughter said she had to walk through it to get to science class. That is a permanent building we've had out there for, for a few years. And like I say, it started as a life science building uh, so that the kids could go out and go out in, in nature uh, and do some things. Booster Club President James Walker says the school was already working to get rid of the mess before the soggy start to the 2015 school year. We want the parents to know that the wheels are already in motion to fix it. We just had some terrible weather these last couple days. He says this huge puddle was storm runoff from the property next to the school. You can see back here where they moved all that earth. They built all that back up there. That was building the uh, Volkswagen plant and the Wright Brothers construction did that for the county to have a place to move all of the earth. He says today the Wright Brothers Company came back to help the county with this problem at Central High School at no additional cost. The county, like I said, is over there today uh, putting up some more barriers, and I, and I think I saw some trucks going in with some, some rocks and things. Walker says the work should be done in the next few days, weather permitting. If they fix it so that the kids don't have to trudge through that, great. Campbell says that her daughter's class actually met in the main building today to avoid walking to outside to that building. Walker says that will continue until the problem is fixed. For now, live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thanks, Hannah.